And uh, so every quarter we tell them how many we sold and um, then we make uh, our donation to them. And they have, um, up to now we have um, planted over 200,000 trees, around 214,000 trees in Africa. Cool. Um, and then can you tell me a little bit about how your yarn is made? Yeah, um, so we, um, we source our yarn from uh, multiple uh, continents. Uh, some come from South America, some come from uh, Australia. And uh, obviously it's very, uh, you know, uh, I, I forgot the term, you know, make sure that the sheep are uh, treated well. And um, we make sure that's, that's the case. And uh, then, you know, it's milled in Turkey. We have uh, great mills that work with us that provide really high quality yarn. We only use 19 micron in our yarns, which is the highest quality, almost the highest quality merino you can get. And um, then uh, it's dyed in Turkey. Everything is hand dyed. Uh, we have a lot of um, family involved, like my cousins, my brothers, everyone is involved with the business. So like my cousins dye. Um, and uh, we, we also have, back in Turkey, um, there's uh, a macho culture within some parts of Turkey, which is um, like very unfortunate because um, in families in the like uh, villages, they um, like women are not allowed to work outside in an office or, you know, in a restaurant or, you know, just like they're limited to certain things. Um, like their husbands get jealous or it's just a, a, like a very ancient culture. And uh, so they're not allowed to go out, work in an office. So uh, we provide them with uh, income by, uh, you know, helping, uh, giving them a job for scanning yarns, um, some help to uh, like label, they knit garments, like all these garments you see, uh, we provide these for our uh, stores to uh, you know help them display and uh, sell the yarns better. And these are all knitted by our uh, knitters in Turkey. And um, you know they work from home; they don't have to go to office or our warehouse. So uh, we provide a lot of um, help and income for um, women that would not be able to make a living if uh, you know we 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 were not there for them. And uh, it's, yeah, it's, uh, we're very proud to be a part of it. We're very proud to be uh, able to offer that. And um, it's growing every, every year we're, uh, we have more knitters. We have more, uh, we need more uh, people to make color cards, uh, scan the yarns, put labels on them because we're growing as a company. So we need more help. So it's like every year our uh, circle of um, ladies work with us uh, expense. Awesome. Your colors are so amazing. Um, <laughs> I have to say, so we have the unique sock kits and, oh. um, the pictures are beautiful. They Thank you. are two skeins. So you get matching, but what I hear from customers, Emery, is that the socks are more beautiful than the picture. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's a good problem. <laughs> it's a very good problem. People love them. Um, I'm glad. And I love wearing them too. Oh, good. good. Yeah, yeah. Every time, every time I'm up north, of course, uh, like we don't need socks here in Florida, but <laughs> every time I go up north, uh, I have to, I have to wear uh, unique socks. They're yeah. just, I, I don't want to take them off. They're so comfortable. Yeah, they're great. They're very proud. I wish that we could carry all of your yarns in the shop, but you would fill my tiny shop. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been there. I'd love to come. And um, so I have the difficult choice of picking and choosing colors. And but one of the great things that Earth has started doing this year, um, I guess this was, was inspired by the, by the pandemic, is shipping to customers. So anything that you see on earthyarns.com, that's U-R-T-H yarns.com, you can have, you can order it through me and Earth Yarns will send it directly to your house. 
And in the shop, we have the Harvest line, which is naturally dyed. This is one of my favorite colors. It's cinnamon. And yeah, is that Harvest? This, this garment is from Harvest, yes. And we have um, unique fingering. And then what I think is truly a unique yarn, which we may not have been in today, is the cotton. Unique oh, because yeah. This is great for when you're knitting for someone who doesn't like wool or you don't like wool, or we have a, quite a few vegan customers. And this yarn yeah. is beautiful. There is nothing like it on the market that stripes the way this does and feels as nice perfect for shawls and things yeah yeah so um, i'm glad you like it i'm gonna let emery talk about um some of the garments that he's chosen to show you and any mm -hmm. of these, if you want to purchase them we have the pricing and please ask questions about them you can put it up in the chat if you want to get something or you can contact me later at the shop but I hear Emery describe them and talk about them. So I'll let you do that now. Okay, perfect. Um, I'm gonna start with our uh, unique fingering. Um, that's, this, is our, this is our baby. This is what we started with. Um, they are self-striping on the Prosa Merino. This is the, uh, it comes in three different weights. This is the fingering weight, 435 yards per skein. And then uh, we have it in the DK weight in worsted. I'll show them as well. Again, another. So we have 25 colors in the, uh, the unique line. They're all really bright, beautiful colors, self-striping. There are 12 colors that uh, you know, change within the skein. And um, these 25 colors, you can buy them in the fingering weights, uh, worsted weight, which is 220 yards, and DK weight, uh, it'll be 300 yards. And uh, the price is the same for all of them. We don't change prices for different weights. Really beautiful colors. And uh, I want to show what one skin knits like. This is our chevron scarf. It's a free pattern on our website. And this is the whole color change in one skin. This is color number 310. I mean, 3010 changes like this. And unique, uh, you know, it's really colorful, it's beautiful. Uh, but, you know, some, some knitters, they prefer um, more conservative option. And for that, we came up with monochrome. This is monochrome in uh, fingering, again, 435 yards. And what we do is uh, with everything that we offer there, everything is hand dyed. Uh, we use the same base yarn. So unique fingering, if you enjoy knitting with unique fingering, uh, you know, it's the same yarn used in monochrome. It's the same yarn used for a uh, harvest. So you will get the same consistency with if you want to try other yarns. And again, monochrome comes with in the DK and worsted as well. These are some of the beautiful colors we offer. And uh, the difference between monochrome and unique is monochrome is different shades of the same color. So whereas the unique has uh, 12 different colors, like this, this is the monochrome, this skein will knit like this. That's really pretty. So this is the color change you would see within. And it's more conservative. So if you don't want to be too flashy, uh, monochrome is a great option. And you, uh, it's, you know, it's not just like a, a semi-solid yarn. It has more of a interesting look in it. Um, the, the first garment that I want to, uh, I want to show is our A Flutter Poncho. A Flutter Poncho, it was uh, designed by Moran. And uh, Moran is the designer that uh, I would say put us on the map with the Papillon shawl, this beautiful uh, shawl with short rows. This takes three skeins to make. We'll get back to it later. But I want to start with uh, a flutter punch, poncho. A flutter poncho takes five skeins, uh, two skeins of 3012. 
once scan of 3012, uh, I'm sorry, the first one was 3002, and two scans of 3062 in monochrome. And this is the end result. It's just like the Papillon, but it's a Pancho version. Beautiful. I think I think it's beautiful. Uh, like the color changes, everything is magnificent. And we saw this design, and we said, you know, it's just like we didn't think it could get better than the Papillon, and I think this is just up there with it. It's beautiful. And it takes five skeins, so I think in Colorado it would be great to have that poncho like this. Yeah. Because uh, the shawl might not be enough to keep you warm. <laughs> um, the next one I want to show you is uh, uh, Bobork. Bobork is uh, with our unique and uh, monochrome worsted. The story be behind uh, Bobork shawl is um, we wanted to reach out to designers from uh, all over the world. And one of them was uh, Julie Nitz in Paris. And Julie came up with, like, we asked them to design something that, you know, uh, is associated with where they live. And Julie uh, wanted to design something that, um, you know, reminded her of the, the Bobor Museum in Paris. So this is, I'm sorry. Push this away. This is an eight skin shawl. It's brioche. Oh, wow. It uses uh, four skins of unique worsted and four skins of monochrome worsted. The colors we used in this combination is 4020 in unique worsted and 4065 in monochrome worsted. So when you put these together, you wouldn't think that the, uh, you know, the end result would look like this, but it's just, uh, I think it's a piece of art. So these rows here are, uh, they represent the columns of the museum, she said. Eight scheme project, it's magnificent. Um, we have so many stores that just did uh, really well with them. They, uh, their customers loved working with it. Okay, Emery, um, do you mind if I interrupt for one second? It's Shauna. Yeah, of course, go ahead. Um, just a, a question from Jennifer. She said, the colors are so beautiful. Can you go through the dyeing process with us? And then we're gonna have Celeste um, go ahead and tell us what the kit prices are for the um, Chevron and the A flutter and the Babork. Okay, there we go. The dyeing process? Um, the dye, like I, I wish that I was the one uh, picking the colors uh, and uh, putting them together, but um, it's it's not me. It's uh, it's my cousin that uh, dyes them. And uh, like to get specific to the dyeing process, I'm not like I'm not there. I'm just uh, I'm I'm not in the uh, in the uh, workshop. So I know it's a very unique uh, dyeing technique that they use. That's what makes it very different. But I'm not like, uh, unfortunately, I'm not really uh, familiar with it. So um, you, I'm not, I'm, yeah. Do you know anything about the inspiration behind the colors? They're so- Inspiration, um, you know, I wish I, I wish I could be more specific, but uh, he just, I don't know. He, he just works his magic. And every time I ask for new colors, he comes with really great color combinations that you know, sometimes I look at them, I don't think they will work out well. And once we receive the swatch of the finished, uh, you know, we, we get the chevron scarf to see what it looks like finished up. It just blows me away every time. Um, I wish I was that guy <laughs> putting those colors together. Be a math person because the striping is so amazing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, uh, he, I, know, I know he went to a design school. And um, it just then dying, I think, came natural to him. He's very talented. <laughs> I, I'm very lucky. <laughs> um, okay, Celeste, are you okay going through then um, the pricing on the Chevron and A Flutter and Babor? So the Chevron, 
is, I just wanna make sure I'm getting this right. Um, the Chevron is thirty is forty six dollars. Is that right, Shauna? Um, it, it can be one or two skin project, but I think two skin works much nicer. Looks really nice. Like this, this is the two skin. Mm -hmm. It's wider, and uh, this is the one skin. They're both great. What Emory just held up in the monochrome, we had the pleasure of going to Vogue in New York, and we were amazed how many men were knitting this. This is a great gift. Look how long it is. And I personally like it in the fingering, but of course in Colorado, look, Emory's gonna show the end of it. The end of it is so cool the way they finish it off. Isn't that neat? It's also a very simple project. And believe it or not, this is a beginner project. But look at these colors. Aren't they amazing? It's great on you. I'll wear it. <laughs> yeah, and I really love the patterns free. I'm going to link it for you in the chat. So as he goes through it, it'll be there. Okay, the next one will be uh, the A flutter. A flutter. Yeah, A flutter. Yeah, so that is five skeins total. Yes. And it's $130. I think knit the butterfly um, shawl. Yeah, I'll show it again. A flutter. This is the A flutter. Under thirty dollars, five skeins. And then the Boberg is in the worsted weight and that's with brioche and that one is two hundred dollars so it's two colors that one is done in two colors of harvest i believe this is um this is in uh monochrome and okay. unique worsted gotcha. so this specific one was four thousand twenty and four thousand sixty five those are the colors but we also have a lot of uh, different color color combination um uh, suggestions on the on the website as well and it's four skeins of each color that's correct the next one i have is another uh european designer that we uh worked with she's from Am uh, she lives in amsterdam uh this is mokum cal this is from our harvest worsted wait So this will be great. I think it looks really nice. Um, you can use it as a mask as well right now. Didn't used to come in handy last year, but now it is. There's a lot of that happening on Ravelry where people are showing. <laughs> yeah. So uh, this takes two skeins of our uh, Harvest Worsted. Uh, one is Indigo, one of my favorite colors in our Harvest. And the other one is Ecru. And the cool thing about Harvest is uh, I love Harvest because um, we use, it's a plants-based dyeing. So the color names are, let's say, uh, cinnamon uh, or citrus because uh, they were dyed with it. So if we dyed it with cinnamon, we named the color cinnamon. If it was dyed with citrus, uh, blueberry, walnuts, hazelnuts, like our color names are all uh, fruits and vegetables, nuts. So it's, it's really fun when you're knitting with the, the skein, you know what was used to dye it with. Uh, you know, there we have pomegranates, uh, cranberry, uh, we have uh, thuya, which is a black, it's, uh, it's a root. And uh, we have uh, cosmic purple carrot, which is fun. And on the skin, you'll see, you know, this is cosmic purple carrots. You see the picture of carrots. <laughs> so uh, it's, it's funny, like my, uh, my daughters, when they saw carrots uh, purple for the first time, they were really surprised. And then they came to warehouse and I showed them, look, this is what 
that carrot dies. So uh, it's it's a lot of fun. Uh, we love the harvest line. Comes in worsted and fingering weight. And this is mokum. You can make it with the harvest worsted. It's a lovely design. Okay. And that the mokum is just two skeins then? That's correct. Two skeins, one skein each. Yeah. And it's knit in the round. So stranded color work. And uh, the next one I have, this, this we uh, introduced this design in the, uh, for the local yarn shop day. This is Divan Yolu. This is a harvest fingering. I'm gonna uh, turn it around. This takes three skeins of harvest fingering. The colors we used in this design are fig, cosmic purple carrot, and indigo. It's a very cool design. I'm not doing a great job displaying it, given the circumstances, <laughs> but uh, it really is a very nice design. Uh, it's actually on the, when you go to our website, it's the first design you'll see in a different color combination. This takes three skeins of harvest fingering. And when you buy the kit, the pattern comes with it. And that one is a linen stitch mostly. The slip stitches. Let me see. The price on the Divan Lu is. The, the Divan Lu? Yeah. This is uh, three skeins. So it'll be, uh, I believe, $75. And it's a free pattern, which is nice. Yeah, yeah, it comes it comes with the kit. Um, anyone that orders it, we uh, we ship the the kit with the pattern printed inside of it. And um, the next one I have is butterfly cowl. Um, <clears throat> so this is the. A lot of, uh, you know, we, when we talk to stores, uh, as much as they love the Papillon shawl, they always mentioned that, you know, one of the uh, barriers for uh, knitters is like they, before they start knitting Papillon, they get intimidated because it's like a technique they haven't tried before. It looks really, uh, they think that it's going to be really difficult. So um, this is the cow version of it. It's butterfly cow. So... This takes one skein of unique fingering and one skein of harvest fingering, and you'll you know have a lot of uh, yarn left. But this is great introduction, so you can uh, you know anyone that doesn't feel like they can do uh, they can knit papillon, they can start with this, and see actually it's not that difficult. Like everyone that finishes papillon, they say um, they it was much easier than they thought. So all you have to do is just like follow the instructions and like, you know, do your uh, counting. Just you have to pay attention. You can't be watching a movie and uh, knit this one. So um, this will be the smaller version of it. And, uh, you know, you start with this, build your confidence and it also looks great. And then after that, you know, you can switch to Papillon and, uh, you know, do something more complicated. So um, this one is Unique Fingering 3015 and Citrus, these two colors. We'll make this. Wow. And again, we have a lot of uh, color combination uh, suggestions, uh, recommendations on our website, on the kids section. You don't like what uh, this looks like, you can, uh, you know, uh, see the other combinations and you can probably uh, I believe you can make uh, at least two cows with a purchase of two skeins and a fantastic Christmas gift for people that are wearing a oh, face that's right that's right going skiing you know in your area especially make the band tighter around the back and pull it up over the face mask it's a great gift yeah yeah I mean it's uh Okay. I mean, uh, 
two days ago, I forgot to bring my mask to a restaurant and uh, I couldn't go in. I wish I had this with me. So I could go in. <clears throat> um, the next one I have is uh, the butterfly shawl, which you know we already talked about. Uh, butterfly shawl, we have, um, I mean, I have seen, I don't know how many combinations. They just, like, uh, we use two skeins of unique fingering and uh, one skein of, you can use either harvest fingering or monochrome fingering. Uh, this one uses monochrome fingering. Uh, it's 3,052 monochrome fingering. All the, uh, it's, I always say unique fingering is the, uh, the leading actress in this uh, production. And it does all the color changes in harvest fingering or monochrome fingering is the supporting actress. And they do all the, uh, the edges, the borders here that provides the, uh, the contrast that make the unique fingering colors pop out. So uh, this one, 3052 and 3017. It's a very bright one. And uh, we have, again, a lot of different combinations on our website. Uh, there is back there, that's, that one is a uh, 3007 and Buckthorn, one of our top combinations. The next one I have is Synchronicity Kit. I love this design. It's with our unique worsted and harvest worsted. It uses two skeins each. I'm gonna show you what they look like. Uh, these two colors, 4,020 and cinnamon in unique worsted and harvest worsted. They make this design. That is just beautiful. Oh. Color change. Yes, uh, I was fortunate to, um, I was going through uh, our Instagram feed and someone shared what they knit, uh, like they knit this design with our yarn. It was not designed, I mean, it was not originally using our yarns. But, um, you know, someone knitted it with our yarns and it just looked unbelievable and we're like, oh yeah, this, this will look great. So let's make some combinations. And it's been received really well. So two skeins each, unique worsted and harvest worsted. Uh, so that will make close to hundred dollars, I think, for the kit. 102 and the pattern is seven. Okay, thank you. Um, then I have Oh, okay. Um, so we have um, the last, the last Vogue knitting magazine ever printed. I hope it's not the last one to be printed, but uh, the last one that was printed. Uh, this is the reversal kit. We are, uh, we are on the cover, and it was like a really uh, proud moment for us. This is the reversal kit, and I'm telling you, the the cover picture doesn't do justice to the design. This uses our Merino gradient kit and monochrome fingering. Our, I wanna talk about our Merino gradient kit. It uses, we use our uh, fingering weight yarn. It comes in this uh, kit with a free pattern or skeins. Total yardage you get is 880. And what we do is we use each skein, there are four skeins and each skein has uh, we dyed them with a different dyeing technique. So they have speckles. This one is uh, variegated. This is more solid. This is the, you know, it comes, it goes from the dark shade to the lighter shade of the same color with all different dyeing techniques. It gives a very different uh, look. So what they did with the uh, Vogue design is they used one, kit of Myrna gradient, and then they used uh, a skein, uh, two skeins of the monochrome finger. 
And the one that I'm gonna show you, the finished product, it uses these. Two skins of monochrome and uh, 3051, and one of the 804 in the Mirna gradient. And the finished product, I think looks amazing. Wow. This is one side. This is the other side. So it's called a reversal kit. And that's the pattern that comes with that kit? Yeah, we actually, when they buy the kits, we, I, I, have, uh, I bought a lot of the magazines. We ship the kits with the, the Vogue Knitting magazine. Nice. So uh, yeah, it's, it's really difficult to buy the pattern and print uh, from Vogue. So I just went ahead and uh, we, I bought the magazines. I have tons of magazines in the back. So every time uh, we, we ship this kit, it comes with the, the Vogue knitting magazine. The latest, the, the spring summer 2020 issue will come with the kit. And uh, Mariner gradient kits, it comes in 12 different uh, colorways. The monochrome comes in uh, 16 different colorways. Harvest is 23 colorways. So every color that is uh, offered in those lines, you can get them in fingering, worsted, DK. Uh, harvest, only DK, I mean, only worsted and fingering. And, um, and you know, we, we talked about the, the sock kits, but let me uh, go through them again. So this is one of our new colors. This is color number 67. Very bright, very soft. <clears throat> Some of the, like you said, it shows the finished uh, product, what it's gonna look like. Two pre-wound cakes. Uh, we have added new colors. So right now we have uh, 19 colors that we offer. We also have uh, some, uh, we had great success in our limited editions. Uh, the first one was the uh, the tiger, tigress, inspired by the uh, infamous Tiger King uh, show, because uh, you know in March didn't we all watch it? So my brother said, uh, you know, just like why don't we try this? And uh, we did not expect it to be such a huge hit. When we first um, informed our customers about this uh, this kit, the demand was so overwhelming that. We, we were originally going to make around 500 of them to keep it limited, but uh, the demand was overwhelming. So we didn't want to say no to our customers. So we, I think we ended up doing uh, over 2,500 in the first two months. Um, because Tigress did so well, we said, you know, let's come up with something new, also fun. And we did uh, Zebra. This is a lot of fun too. Looks like this. And uh, we also, I mean, I don't have the, we run out right now of the, our Christmas. So we're gonna be uh, offering Christmas socks as well. Um, the color should be on the, like the photograph should be on the website, on the, uh, the link that Shona uh, shared. Um, <clears throat> so we, we have Christmas and then uh, in a few weeks, we're gonna also offer a uh, Hanukkah. So we'll have uh, four uh, special limited edition sockets as well. And uh, like I said, it, they're just, they're, they're so soft. They're wonderful to wear. Yeah, once you wear them, you don't wanna take them off. You wear them uh, <laughs> all the time. They're great. Um, I believe that's what I have. Yeah, does anybody have questions for Emery, Shana? Shana, you're in the warehouse. You could maybe. I know. Did you guys see the back of the warehouse? Is this cool? Would you like <laughs> to walk around really quick to the warehouse? Raise your hand if you do. Oh. I'll do it for you. Sherry, do you want him too? Okay. Who did All I? All right. I, I miss my Cindy. Hi, Cindy. You want him? Oh, well, she can't because we've got. Right. Some I'm gonna go show them around and then okay, but... yourself. Emily is a wealth of knowledge. Ask him questions. All right. So um I'll start like so. This is 
our warehouse. I'll first do a quick turn around. And uh, we are depleted of some of our yarns right now. We had a great month in September. This is our, uh, this is, we didn't talk about this. This is our monochrome cotton. So it's, it's in the DK weight, 100% uh, mercerized cotton. Comes in 24 colors. So it's dyed in self striping as well. Um, this is where we keep our uh, socks in these boxes. So uh, it goes all the way to 69. Zebra and tiger, unfortunately empty. And uh, this is where we have our unique fingering. First 20 colors are up here. And then our new colors, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. I love this color, 25, 24, one of my favorites, amazing. Um, this is the monochrome fingering here. So our fingering weights yarns are on one side and uh, DK is in on the other side of the warehouse and worsted is on the opposite side. So when we send kits, we put them in this special bags. We make them look nice. Uh, when you get them, you'll be, you'll be pleased with how they look. Uh, so this is fig, grape leaf, hazelnut, mint, oleaster, orange. Uh, this is pistachio, uh, pomegranate, you would think it would look red, but this is how it comes out. That's rubia, our walnut, thyme, and this is our infamous duya. This is the best black Ooh, nice. color nice. you'll see. Um, our marina grading kits are here. 801, 802, 803. This is the color uh, Vogue used in their design on the cover with yellow in monochrome, 806, 807. This is a, one of my favorite colors. 12 colors here. And this is something new actually. This is a very interesting yarn. Uh, the, this is our, this is Galati. It's 100% it's cotton again, but it's three ply bulky weight cotton. It's self striping. And uh, this retails $20, 95 yards. And this comes in um, two different weights, uh, two different ways, uh, like unique. This is like the unique way. And then like the monochrome, again, self-striping, but in uh, more of a solid colors. And uh, some of the colors are up there. It's a brand new product, so we have uh, we have started with, I believe, 24 colors. These are the DK weights here of the unique, the same colorways, 25 colors. And uh, this is monochrome DK. Here is our unique cotton, the one that you mentioned uh, in the beginning. This is one of our new colors. This is 100% cotton and it's mercerized. DK weight 275 yards. Uh, very soft. And uh, like Celeste said, it's, there's really nothing like it in the market. Uh, we are very proud. And I'm trying to move this. The colors are really bright. 25 colors. Emery, is the other, um, the bulky cotton that you showed, is that also mercerized? Uh, the Galaxy, the, uh, the thick one is not mercerized. Okay. The DK weight is mercerized, both in monochrome and unique. And this is, uh, retails $15 per skein. 
hand dyed. So I think it's a great uh, price for the product. Uh, and this is our worst. Would like to see more colors in the Galatea? Can you take them? More back? colors, of course. Yes, please. Of course. Purple is uh, black and gray. Really colorful, bright. It's a great, great yarn. Um, it's very soft. Our, our, our dyer, when they first received this yarn, they, they said it's, uh, it felt like uh, merino. It was as soft as Marina. Some of the bags are open because uh, we do drop shipping for stores. So, um, or these are solids. This, this, this is really nice. And we're gonna be coming up with a lot of. Uh, new designs with Galaxy. Another thing I wanted to mention is we have a new yarn coming up. Uh, it's chunky weight, 100% merino. Uh, these are the other colors in Galaxy. Yeah, it's uh, the new yarn we're coming up named Kuzu, K-O-O-Z-O-O. -O -O. It's not even on the website yet. Uh, so you're getting the first, uh, the, the sneak peek. Not really, because I don't have the sample here, but uh, at least you know about it. Uh, it's going to be 66 yards per skein, and it's chunky. It's really thick. It's going to be three ply, so um, it's not you won't have like this that fizz problem, because with chunky weight, um, if the yarn is single ply, as you knit with it, as you put it on, like use it. After you, let's say, make a hat, it's, uh, it starts fizzing. It looks really old. Uh, so we, to, to make sure that, you know, we don't have problem with our yarn like that, uh, we wanted to make a three-ply, which still uh, makes the yarn very, very soft, but it still looks uh, very new. So it won't look like worn out. It's going to be a great product. We're going to have it in um, 25 colors, I believe. And... Once it's on our website, it should be next week. Uh, we'll, uh, you know, just check it out in two weeks on our website, and uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be there. And it's a great product. Um, so, I would like to know the difference between mercerized cotton and regular. And it's just my understanding, mercerized cotton is shinier and stronger. And uh, mer yeah, mercerized cotton uh, makes it shinier. And you know, there is one more difference between mercerized and unmercerized, but um. I can't, I can't remember. One of my customers actually, she, it's great. Like when I visit customers, I learn things from them. And that was like, uh, she said there was like a great distinction between, I, I can't remember, oh, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, Mercerize definitely makes the, the skeins look brighter. And you'll see like, this is the Mercerize. It looks so much brighter. So what happens like they, that? they take the color much better. Like there's, there's a process. Uh, after the uh, the yarn is finished, I think uh, they like there's a process. They heat it. And uh, what's that? They heat it. They heat it and they put it through rollers and that. Makes it oh, okay. Well, thank you. <laughs> I um yeah I I just um okay uh worsted. This is the unique worsted. The same colors again. 220 yards and we're out of a color here these are 18 19 21 this is a great color 23 very bright and okay again 25 and underneath are the worsteds in the harvest the same colors, orange, polyester. 
This is a uh, grape leaf. I think it's a beautiful green. This is cranberry. This is our uh, monochrome. Very bright colors. Let me put them together. Oh. Our turquoise is beautiful. Bright greens, uh, green color, black, silver, ruby, and a pink. 16 colors in the uh, monochrome. And uh, that concludes our warehouse. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow, it feels so much nicer in the office. The warehouse is so hot. <laughs> All right. Well, Emery, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It's my pleasure. So, but everything is milled back in Turkey, right? That's correct. That's correct. Everything is um, made in Turkey. Uh, I mean, sourced from different uh, continents, but milled in Turkey, dyed in Turkey. And uh, like it's a, it's a growing operation, but it's all uh, within the family. So it's, it's really great. Like my, my brother is the, uh, my brother takes the uh, photos. He's the photographer. He does the website. And uh, I mean, because of him uh, during when the, uh, when the uh, pandemic hit first, we were able to uh, survive because, you know, he, he was so fast at uh, transforming our websites to you know, help our customers to uh, or order drop ships very very uh, easily. That you know, within two weeks, we were just we he transformed our website and we were able to take orders and help our customers to uh, you know to be able to stand up along us. And um, my other brother, he does the uh, the production. We are three brothers. I'm the oldest and. Uh, he does the production so you know he's the one that makes sure that everything is in stock so uh, we are mostly really well stocked uh, despite being a you know a hand dyeing company usually with hand dyeing it's um, you know you you might have really long wait times but with us usually um, we're able to uh, fulfill orders in full in uh, within two weeks so anything that you ordered it should be uh, in your hands very fast Great, great. Did, uh, um, did we say how many trees you have planted? Yeah, I think it's uh, 214,000. And um, that doesn't count uh, what we're going to, yeah, uh, until, until the last time we planted was in July. So we, we plant every quarter. So the third quarter just ended. I believe we'll, we'll plant another uh, 30,000 trees. That's so great. Yeah, we, we're very proud. And, uh, you know, that's one of my brothers. He, like, uh, we got the inspiration from a, a shoe company called uh, Tom's. Mm -hmm. They, um, for every pair they sell, they, uh, they uh, gift a pair to uh, poor children in Argentina. And, uh, so I, I, I always wore uh, Tom's. So that gave us the idea of uh, giving something back in that way. So th uh, we thought it would be great to give back to the earth, given our name is earth. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's the, that's the story behind that. Wonderful. It's, it's a pleasure to talk with you and to work with a company that cares. Thank well, thank you. Thank you for having me. It's, uh, it was a pleasure and we feel honored. And I want to say thank you to everyone that participated. Yeah. Thank you so much. The tour was wonderful and it was so helpful to have you show us the products and finished items. And thank you so much. It was great. I'm very glad. I'm very glad that you joined us. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it, I, I agree. And I have used your yarn and I really have enjoyed it. I'm in like 
my third project with it. So that makes us very happy. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Great. Well, everyone, thanks for showing up and go forth and enjoy your Saturday. Um, <laughs> thank you. Happy knitting. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.